match means that everything is legal except for slams. Good call on the no slams here. Yeah. We have both guys trying to set up their ties on the feet. See who has the stronger takedown game here if someone opts to pull guard. In the corner of Gauthier, we have Nick Fury taking the, the head coach's seat. Both guys look happy to wrestle up to this point. We're a minute down. Gauthier with a slick little arm drag there. Still on the feet, though. This is where it becomes grueling, right? If you're not used to doing a lot of work on the feet, getting the match to the ground, you're really tired, especially in a long match. That's a, an often overlooked part of jiu-jitsu competition. A lot of people don't practice takedowns enough in the gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll see it when you go to competition all the time. Even if your plan is to pull guard, that's something you should be practicing. How are you going to do it? What are your grips going to be? Gauthier has an underhook here on his right side. He's attempted a couple of times now to, to lower his level and grab a single leg. He's been unsuccessful. Mark is trading collar ties side to side. He's tried to get good head position. Two and a half minutes down here, still. Oh, oh, oh. Still working on the feet. Mark's got a trip. Mark went for a, an Uchi Mata there, but ends up in bottom position with his guard closed. Very long legs, able to close the body triangle in his closed guard. Looks like he's trying to control the hands from the bottom. Could be thinking triangle. Mark's doing a good job keeping the posture broken. When you're in someone's guard with long legs and long arms, it is really hard to get your posture proper. It's really so hard to easy. stay in a position where they can't reach you and break you down. You, right. Marks back to the body triangle and the closed guard. Don't see that very often. Tyler gets up to his feet. He's going to try to break the guard open here. Really good base. He's trying to push the knees down. Base Gravity's going to get... Oh, just when wow. I thought Tyler was going to get the guard broken, we end up back to the feet. Carrying all of Mark's weight. But that really puts a lot of pressure on Mark's legs. Yeah, in that position, it's really hard to tell who's, who's carrying more of the strain. Well, time's already ticking down on this one. Under three minutes to go. Tyler lowers his level, comes up with a single leg. Oh, Mark's going to try to roll through. Nope. Mark ends up on bottom in his half guard. Tyler's got head and arm. Mark's trying to fish in an underhook. Sorry, butterfly hook. 
Yeah, butterfly hook. Go. That butterfly hook by, by Mark could really help him get some elevation and advance his position. He's trying to dig that underhook now as well. Tyler's doing a good job of keeping Mark's shoulders flat on the mat. It's one of the biggest battles in the half guard. Slowly working his way up. We have 90 seconds left in this one. This is really where it can get grueling past like this. Keeping a guy cr creeping up your body like this. That's a tough position to be in here. Bottom half guard, flat on your shoulder is not, not the greatest spot to work from. Doesn't really have any frames. Creating space. That's going to reset him here with a minute to go. Still battling here in the half guard. Mark's trying to pry open. Sorry, Tyler's trying to pry open Mark's guard with his inside foot. Right. And Mark was trying to post the hip away, which is a, a good strategy. But it's ultimately that underhook on the top side that's determining this position. Oh, Tyler passes through to the side. Time's running short, though. He's not going to have a lot of time here to do anything. Barring a hair Mary here, we're going to overtime. Next time. Nine. Going to overtime. Be interesting to see uh, what a, a taller, lankier fighter or a competitor goes for in an overtime situation like this. In this format here, where we only have one overtime round to work and it's only about the submission, I'm surprised we're not seeing more arm bar setups. This is going to take the back. It looks like Big Fight Mike is in here giving the, the refs some pointers on how to get these guys set up as we were talking about the last match. Right. The offensive person in this position can get a little bit of an advantage by leaning back before the round starts. Tyler immediately finds rotation and gets free. Beautiful. So the criteria here to escape the back is you need to free your hips and you also need to free your elbow across the body. Mm -hmm. So if either one of those controls are still in play, the ref's going to let the clock keep ticking away. So you can't just get your hips free from the hooks and have the seatbelt in play. You need to free yourself from the seatbelt as well. All right. All right, Tyler's taking him back as well. Tyler's doing a good job of keeping his head underneath Mark here, attacking on the weak side. He looks like he has a really strong grip here. He's trying to get the body triangle in. Mark's doing a good job at blocking it. There it is. He's momentarily in. Switches hands. Mark's done a good job of getting some breathing room back here. As Tyler had those grips right up around the neck for a while. He's back there again, though. He's got a good look at this. He's palm to palm, oh, and he gets is. the tap. Really worked hard for that one. Penzo Gracie, New Hampshire's Tyler Gauthier gets the win in overtime. And your winner is still New Hampshire RCS sub only champion, Tyler Gauthier!